The amount of weird names and like loaded names and like special prona I I don't know, I was reading uh I was reading like a jeez, what what site was it? Might have been like Polygon or whatever did a retrospective on um uh, a retrospective on Va Va Ban. Eh, that makes sense. Ow What? Oh you probably got Corpus shotguns. You least expected. Ow! Holy shit, yeah, you did. This guy sucks. No surprise. Okay. Uh. Do, do, but yeah, I was reading a retrospective from like Polygon or Kotaku or whatever. I generally kind of avoid those sites because they tend to be a little bit um, aggressive with their opinions. And sort of straight up informative, but you know, usually, usually it's fairly informative. It's just every once in a while you see an article and you're like, somebody had an agenda when I when they wrote that, and I don't like that. Um, I prefer my, I prefer my games journalism be as, uh, not unopinionated as possible, but as uh, as neutral as possible. If or at least I don't know, not overwhelmingly ri ridiculous. Do we have some other? Uh, goon creature that was attacking us? I didn't notice anything. But whatever. Okay, uh, let's see. But, uh, yeah, they were doing a, they were doing a retrospective, and I think it was a, uh, I think they described Warframe as, like, a, a hell maze of pronouns. Or some like oh, it, it was a really good descriptor of like of Warframe effectively making fun of the fact that there's so many proper proper oh no it wasn't uh it was a hell maze of proper nouns not not pronouns or whatever and I thought that was just such a like a hilarious descriptor of uh, what what Warframe is made me giggle. Oh, unfortunately, I don't know. I can't stand... Ooh, burst on Prime Barrel. Uh, I wasn't even me. Yeah, my my keys are useless. My, my relics are garbage today. But that's okay. Alright. And now I can start working... No, wait, no, I can't work on that. It wasn't even upgraded. Fucking goddamn piece of shit. Ah, eh, whatever. People always tell me to get good. How do I get that gun? Uh, it's called the, um... That's called the Opticore. Uh... I mean, you just get it from the, uh... Oh, what is that? That's from the Energy Lab. And, uh... In your clan hall. And if you don't have a clan hall, well... Then you gotta get good. Okay, so now I've got enough for the Burst on Prime. I don't really know if I care about the Burst... Burst on or the Bratton Primes, but I figured I I might as well build both of them while I'm here. Anyway, uh, let's see. So now that now that we're done with that, and we we don't want to do any more axes because you're out of keys. What else could we do? We could do some survival. Some real easy rescues. Let's just keep burning lift keys. I've got so many of them. And rescue should be reasonably quick. Tiburon Prime exists, therefore most other rifles are invalid. I haven't really used Tiburon Prime yet. Like, I think I leveled it up to max, and it's got a potato on it, but I haven't, like, really spent much time beyond. Oh, I am fading fast, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the Prisma Gurkata tonight. We're at 200. We're at 200 ducats. We're gonna have to get kind of lucky. I guess I could always get rid of the uh, the Ember Prime stuff. Like I do have some things that I could I could turn into ducats. Because I know it could sell the Ember Prime uh, parts that I've got, but I'm just I don't know. I don't really need platinum. I kind of get it through other means. Like being a goddamn whale. 
Mainly it's just the uh, the thought and act of trying to sell things to people in this game. Not a very attractive prospect, to be totally honest. I totally understand why other people do it, but for me it's like my time is more valuable than the, uh, the amount of money I save by... Uh, by like sitting down to uh, to like try and sell something in the Warframe market. Unless I get like the most ridiculous Riven ever, uh, I'm probably never gonna really bother selling anything. Yeah, obviously if I get one of the Rivens that's like worth 20,000 or something, okay I might consider it then. So he's wonder playing this for the rest of the night. Pretty much yeah, um, I was just kind of tired today so I didn't want to do anything like strenuous. And I was on a bit of a time limit because the um, cause Barrow Katir goes away in a couple of hours. And I thought Barrow Katir was around for more than three days yesterday. Like I, I wanna I wanna say with relative certainty that he was around for like a week. But I I guess I'm just imagining things. Maybe last year just felt longer. And we're already done. Well, whatever. Um, but, uh, so yeah, because of that time limit, I was just, just like, eh, I want to play some Warframe tonight. It also happens to be, like, weirdly enough, one of my most popular series on YouTube. It's really strange. Let's see, I think you should play Gang Beast. Don't need to think there. Yeah, except for none of my friends are around. And also, like, Gang Beast is one of those where, like, I want to be awake for that. That game has really good comment uh, commentary potential. And being brain dead for Gang Beast, I think, would get really boring. But no, I, I think my friends actually uh, would absolutely be down for, like, another uh, goof night of, of Gang Beasts. Because we did that, like, a couple days ago, and it was awesome. That'll probably be our, our backup game whenever we get, like, invaded too much and, uh... Well, this is garbage. That'll probably be our go-to game that we, we play when uh, Dark Souls kind of betrays us. Because Dark Souls <laughs> really likes to be kind of an uneven experience with our with our group. Hot, Hot Lava was really good too. I heard they added another level and I wouldn't mind playing more of that too. Unfortunately, it's also one of those that's, like, really freaking hard. I think it's not an easy game. Uh, after a while. Like, some of, some of those levels, like, Chase the Grade, jeesh. I don't know how people do it. And whatever happened to Scrap Mechanic? Um... I got bored. Like, seriously, 400 episodes, you either have to be, uh, the game either has to be really, really entertaining, or really, really, like, impressively, uh, diverse, to be interesting. I'm like, yeah, after 400 episodes of Scrap Mechanic, I, I don't know, uh, I, I know I could do more in Scrap Mechanic if I really wanted to, but, like, I just... I just, I just don't want to play, like, a game that long. Like, Warframe is probably going to hold my attention for, well, technically I've played Warframe for longer. I don't think I'm going to get 20, 20 kills with this pistol, to be totally honest. Uh, wrong direction. But, uh... Trying to be funny for hours on end is is tough. That's kind of why I like um, games like Warframe and whatnot, where I can truly just like zone out and just talk about whatever. How the hell do you? I hate, I hate this corridor. There's a way to get up here easily, and I always suck at doing it. But um. No, it's, it's hard to be funny with the same game over and over and over again. 
And it's also really, really hard to tie my channel to one game. I've definitely talked about this many, many times before, but, like, as a YouTuber, it is in my best interest to not, like, play a game and move on. And, and like, I'm not trying to just shuffle it out as fast as possible, but it's definitely in my best interest to, like, um, spend as little time on a game as possible, or, like, not dwell on it too long. Unless it's either amazing or, like, carrying my channel. Um, but so Scrap Mechanic was definitely one of those games where I, I spent enough time on it, I think. Yeah, this this is the way. You just immediately go straight up. Um, I spent enough time on Scrap Mechanic that I, I, I don't think anybody could blame me for being ready to stop with it. And honestly, I'm not actually against going back to it at some point. It's just one of those where it's just like, I've got so many other fun games to play instead. Uh, anywhere from Dark Souls Remastered to uh, Conan Exiles to, uh, well, I mean, I guess to a lesser degree, this game. To, I mean, there, there, there truly are just like an infinite combination of of new games coming out like every every day, every month, every year. And so it's just kind of easier for me to move on after a while. And there's nothing for me to do in here. Well, that's easy enough. I had the same problem with uh, Fallout 4, though I think I might actually be back to Fallout 4 sometime this month. Maybe? Uh, I would like to do one more Fallout 4 series before Fallout 76 comes out. And, to be totally honest, I'm not actually sure if uh, I'm even going to enjoy Fallout 76. And, I mean, we've been down that ranty hole. Uh, but I've been itching to do one more, like, Never Leave series. As kind of like a, a fun little thing. Because, yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't played Fallout in a while. And some of those mods, like, were just getting good by the time I did that Pilgrim challenge. Which I don't think I even put out all the footage for. The yeah, longest games on Wander's channel are Scrap, Warframe, Fallout 4, Dark Souls, and D&D. Yeah, D and D going on for a very long time makes sense. Oh, absolutely. D D and D is absolutely going to be one of those series that is just going to carry on. I'm not going to say forever, but uh, it's probably going to be a consistent series on my channel for pretty much the entirety of my channel. After this point, it it does take some time and some serious effort to actually like run a campaign. However, uh, starting, I believe, the end of this month, we might actually start um, alternating the campaign a little bit. We'll see how it goes, but uh, let's see, I wanted to look up uh, Bronco. I also need a Bronco Prime Barrel. Where do I get one of those? Bronco Prime Barrel. Not here. Mesa? It's a receiver. Neo V1. Ooh. Okay, that's a bit tougher to make. I don't know. No, no, you were running out of Axie. Okay. And it's also potentially here. Let's do a couple of, uh, Neos. If, well, let's see if the Neos are easy. Uh, we've got a mobile defense. We've got captures and Axie. Nah, let's, let's keep doing Lith. I'll get the barrels later. What about a World of Warcraft D&D? Ugh. I don't actually like the World of Warcraft camp. Uh, well, no. Truly, the answer is, uh, the reason why I go, eh is I would much rather make an entire world from scratch than ever set my my campaigns in anybody else's campaign settings. It's so much easier to be flexible if there's nobody nobody there that will well, well actually me. And I get enough well actuallys from like people that are like, well actually, uh, this isn't how Wall of Force works, or well actually you could do whatever, you know, with, with X spell or like, well actually druids shouldn't have Wall of Force to begin with. They should have Wall of Stone. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but the more I open myself up for other people to kind of criticize me, the less fun I'm going to have out of it. Whereas, conversely, 
I can just have this like goofy, stupid campaign of my entire own creation, and nobody can say a goddamn thing on whether or not like um, whether or not like it was right of me to do so. You know, like Luke Skywalker wouldn't wouldn't die to a blaster shot like that, or or Jedi could fly. You know, just like that's why I don't touch Star Wars. That's why I don't touch anything. Because you effectively put yourself in a situation that some, uh, that you have to, like, obey canon. And I don't want to do that. Obeying canon is annoying, so, yeah, that's why I don't want to touch World of Warcraft, because effectively I, I'd either have to put myself in, like, such a remote corner of the lore that it wouldn't even be that interesting, or I would have to, uh, I'd have to, like, shackle myself to the story where, like, no matter what, the player characters are either really, really bad Mary Sues, or, um, either the characters are really, really bad Mary Sues, or they're just a couple of random chump people. I never liked that about, uh, World of Warcraft. It's like, yep, you have all these, like, great heroes, but they keep getting their ass handed to them by a group of 10 to 40 random schmucks, uh, as their kind of relaxing night game. Like, it never felt like I was the great hero. It just felt like I was some dude that probably shouldn't be there. And they're always like, thank you, hero. And it's like, I'm just, I'm just a faceless nobody. I know. That's kind of how I always felt. It was weird. get in there anyway. Oh, through this side room. That's how you get in here. Did they already show up? Yeah, they did. And I think they're already dead. Oh, that was fast. But yeah, I don't entirely know how it's going to pan out, but, um... Oh, jeez, I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to talk about this, but, uh... We might be running, uh, two campaigns in parallel for at least a little while. We'll see how it goes. Uh, because I got access to a different tabletop board, uh, board game system. I won't be DMing this one. So I'm actually looking forward to kind of maybe being a, a player in a, in a campaign. For once. I, I certainly haven't had the opportunity to be a player in somebody else's campaign. Um, ooh, all right. We might actually, we might actually be able to finish off this, um, this Barricadier hunt. And yeah, what is it? I don't know. I don't entirely know if, um, if I can talk about it yet. The person putting together the campaign might want to actually have it be like a surprise or. Mainly, I'm just going to put it in uh, their court if they want to talk about it. And once they start talking about it, then I'll talk about it. But I'm I'm looking forward to it. Ah, uh, cause I oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh whatever, doesn't matter. Uh but yeah, I, I'm I'm looking forward to being a player for once. When I used to play D&D, I'd always play as the munch Munchkin character. Is this the Darksiders music? Yup. Yes, it is. Um, I don't I don't mind the Warframe soundtrack, but I don't like the regular mission music. I like their, uh, I like their more special songs, like the you know, this is who you really are, and uh, we all lift together. God, we all lift together is like a, a good song. I, I want them to put out a whole album that is just songs exactly like that, because it's such a good song. Same thing with the, the This Is Who You Really Are, because, like, the rest of the Warframe soundtrack is good, but, like, This Is Who You Really Are is amazing. You don't even hear the music. It's kind of backgroundy. Darksid Darksiders 2 is definitely a little bit more on the, um, on the atmospheric than anything else. It's very good. You found an eight-minute extended version of We All Left Together. Yeah, if you want to send that to me after we're done, or whenever we get kind of like a slow point, absolutely do so. 
Because I think I've listened to that song about ten times since, um, since, you know, it was first unveiled at Tenocon, and I'm like, I just, I really like this song. I've got a bunch of games to play play this month. This year? I don't know. So. I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to fit in Darksiders. I think I should be fine. As long as I, like, um, just, you know, keep up with it. I could probably get through Darksiders 1 and 2 before uh, Darksiders 3 comes out. Because I'm really stoked for that game. Even though it's not being made by, uh, by Vigil, because Vigil is dead. And they've moved on to become Airship Syndicate to some degree. Um, or is this? No. This is not a different location. Yeah, that shortcut room's still in there. Neat. A little side path I never even knew about. I can't get in. This is also not the uh, path material takes to get in. You have a different path to get in. Or you're just faster than me and I wasn't paying attention. And this door is meaningless anyway. Well then. Guess that works. Or who knows, maybe you might just be... Okay, tube under stairs. Oh. Oh, down here? Oh, so there is. Huh. There's multiple little shortcuts in there. That's cute. Let's see. I'm nibbling on my lips a little bit. I've been recording too much today, so they're starting to chat. And I was talking earlier about how it was hard for me to commentate when I was hungry. The other the other thing that I find super distracting... Uh, okay, there's, there's a handful of things that are, like, really, really distracting. Um, obviously needing to go to the bathroom and, you know, needing to go to... The, to bed. If I'm like, if I'm really tired, obviously, you know, should probably just call it. Um, but, uh, but, uh, if my, if my lips are starting to chap a little bit, they get kind of like a, they get kind of uneven. And that bothers me, because I like having, you know, really smooth lips, obviously. Especially because when they're kind of uneven, they start sticking together a little bit. And so when I'm talking, I'm like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hate it. It's so weird. It's super uncomfortable, too. Um, and so my... Uh, my Oh, put the song in Discord. Awesome, thank you. So my base reaction is to just, like, kind of nibble on it a little bit. And I'm like, wait a second. No, I probably shouldn't be doing that. Oh, hey, changed. Sweet. Uh, well, let's see. I guess let's do, just uh, do the exterminate. Exterminate's going to be mad easy. All these missions are going to be way too easy. And then we'll be done with the great boobin, uh, not boobin, uh, the great uh, barricadeer grind for a year. And then next year, I might actually preempt the grind a little bit instead of kind of trying to do it at last minute, because I definitely did it last minute this year. Um, I didn't even know when Tenocon was, and I was too busy with other things. Um, but I think next year, or maybe even over the course of this year, I'm just going to probably build up a giant stock of ducats. Uh, so I can buy maybe not every cosmetic item that um, Barricadeer has, but uh, see if I can like really crank up the amount of uh, cosmetic uh, items that I buy from him. Because he does actually have some nice cosmetics in there. Most of which I don't care about. But it'd be nice to just get a bunch. I wonder what's going to be the next panel in the webcomic. Don't know. Uh, I have to decide. More or less what I'm going to do is, in a night or two, just do another like big long drawing session of just like webcomic panels. Uh, but I'd like to finish the first five pages first. Like effectively, I'm just going to kind of switch between uh, leapfrogging. You know, every... Uh, either I'll be... Uh, oh, not either. Uh, effectively, it's like, okay, you know, sketch five pages, uh, render five pages. Did I actually scan that? 
Oh, codex entry is complete. I guess I already have that one. Totally lost where I was there. How much longer am I planning on streaming? Uh, about... Jeez. I want to say... Anywhere from, like, two items to... F five items. That's it. It's really easy. Where's the Soma Cord? Uh, I should have marked it. I'm sorry. Oh, found it. Okay, I'll just hang out here then. But yeah, no, I'm not I'm not gonna go much longer than this, honestly. I am definitely I am definitely fading in many ways. At least my <clears throat> At least I'm not like losing my voice in the same way that I was the last couple days. Saturday night I was definitely pushing myself a little bit. Now I'm just kind of losing my voice a little bit just because <clears throat> Flemmy? Eh, maybe not Flemmy. Flemmy might not be the right word. But I'm also mildly committed to actually doing this. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna go see how much ducats I can cobble up with what we what I've got, so I'll be right back. Cause honestly, I could probably live without Prisma Prisma Gurkata. I've just unlocked Mars while I've had you. You can get a lot done in this game as long as you focus. Oh yeah! No, it's actually pretty easy to just kind of, um... It's pretty easy to just kind of zip through a lot of this game. Uh, the really slow parts is when you're kind of reliant on RNG or if you're trying to do, like, uh, mastery farming. But yeah, if you want to unlock all the planets, generally it doesn't take too long until you start having to do all of the quests. Then it slows down a little bit. Okay, right. I gotta go sell things. Okay, Oberon Prime, Piranha Pl Prime. I need the burst on. Uh, hold on to the Helios. I don't. I'm gonna get rid of the Kavasa, Oberon Prime, Paris Prime upper limbs. Oh, right. I've also got a spare, like, Neurops- Oh. Oh, that's why I can't tra trade half of this stuff. Oh, I forgot about that with Ember Prime. Because I've got the Ember Prime Systems Blueprint. But yeah, I actually stupidly made an Ember Prime chassis and Neuroptics, which I don't think could be traded. That was a dummy. Okay, so this is going to put me at just shy of 500. How much more do I need? To get more DACA. 610, that's 130 left. What else could I get? Because I wouldn't mind getting a different weapon instead. Let's see, there's a Prisma Tetra. Or the Prisma Angstrom. Are either of those good material? Or are they both kind of bad? Because I don't care about Machete Wraith. Nobody should. And I don't know about Volcar Wraith. Or should I just sell one more thing and get the Prisma Scana? Uh, let's see. While we're here, Tetra's fun to goof around with because the shots bounce. Is it a, um... It's a grenade launcher, right? Or is it something else? Because I don't think I've ever actually made a Tetra. What is a Tetra? Or is it a shotgun? Go. Oh. Average rate of fire. No, it's a, uh... It's a bouncy... Bouncy rifle. Between the Dara and the Supra. 
Sure, why not? Let's go, let's grab the Prisma Tetra, because I don't think I care too much about the the Gurkata, but the Prisma Tetra sounds kind of fun. Okay, let's go with that. Perfect. Anyway, I think that's good enough. Thank you, everybody, for helping me out on this. Yeah, Clem Gurkata. <laughs> uh... Yeah, if they ever come out with a uh, Gricotta, Twin Gricotta Wraith, or Prisma, uh, Twin Gricotta, I think I'd be down for that. Otherwise, meh. I don't know. I'll, I'll go for the uh, Gricotta next year. It's just mainly, I've got a lot of other things to work on. I also have bedtime to consider. So I think I'm going to go consider bedtime very seriously.